so as you know, Will, you can't, uh, Motorola can't have all the fun. Well, neither can you. You can't have all the fun either. No. Uh, you got to spread out the fun mm. in 2019. Might as well. And so Samsung, we talked about it, but we got new images courtesy from the iciest of all universe. In universes in the galaxy. Mm. I'm talking about ice universe on Twitter. The man works hard. Get you the latest leaks. Uh -huh. Get you the latest news. And, of course, these new images that showed up on his social media are now floating around the internet as they would. And we got this clamshell. Motorola razor looking type of foldable. That looks tiny when it's folded. Real portable. And you got to believe it's going to be a direct competitor to the Motorola Razor 2019, which we had in studio and shot the video recently. Because the form factor is nearly identical. Now, granted, this particular model appears to have a tiny little screen down in the bottom corner and a camera cut out beside it. But it does not, at least in the form of these images, it does not showcase a front screen, an outside clamshell screen, in the same way that the Razer 2019 does. So could this just be blank on the outside with the exception of that tiny little display showcasing the time? Maybe a couple of notifications? We don't know. This could be a test device. Things could change. It could be different. But I would say, personally, there's enough information floating around now. And Samsung themselves, of course, showcased this idea when they were talking about one UI on folding displays. They put this up on a screen something that looked like it. So I would say you combine all those things and it seems incredibly evident at this moment right now that Samsung is going to play in this territory. Now the interesting part that we got to come back to, of course, uh, after seeing these images, the outside with the two camera setup, some people might be sitting there thinking, well, you got a Galaxy S11 coming out. It's got 43 cameras on it. Of course, I'm exaggerating. As I do. But it's got a lot of cameras. got a huge cutout for all that. And here you have a foldable, which has typically been a premium device. And it looks like it's only got two cameras on the outside. So this lends itself. I, I actually don't think this is a bad thing. Because I think what this means is that this device is actually, actually going to be budget-oriented. Value-oriented. I think they keep the fold line as kind of the top tier. And then they put out this foldable as the more approachable foldable. Which kind of makes sense in this form factor. Is the person who picks up the clamshell foldable, are they in it for the spec chasing? Are they the, the, the most enthusiastic users? Or is this more of a style play? Uh -huh. Similar to the Razer where you don't have the 800 series chip from, from Snapdragon, from Qual Qualcomm, because... You're saying, well, who's interested in this thing to begin with? Somebody who wants extreme portability, which can then flip into a bigger display. Content consumption. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as much gaming. Maybe, maybe not, not as much heavy hitting. So the rumor previously was that this device might launch, should launch, could launch, alongside the S11 in February. Mm -hmm. And that this could start below the price of the S11, Maybe around eight hundred something. Huh. So kind of change the kind of change the conversation around foldables that they don't need to be hyper premium two Gs. So there's going to be a two series. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Maybe they have a different name for it. I don't know. Uh, nothing seems to have leaked yet on what they might call it. But to me, it looks like that's the angle they're going. Now, I I I kind of like the minimal design going on here. It, this application of the folding display somehow feels a little more native. It feels a little more expected, likely because of the nostalgia around the way phones used to flip. Uh -huh. And because it achieves the thing of getting the package smaller in your pocket while still giving you a typical smartphone experience when it's folded out. I've, I spoke about this in the Motorola video, how I always viewed the Galaxy Fold as a foldable tablet because you weren't really using that device with the exterior display in the time that I spent with it as the daily with the SIM card in. This one, on the other hand, definitely a folding phone.
because when it's in its open position, it's it can't be confused for a tablet form factor. It's absolutely a phone in its native kind of layout. So the Motorola, just to be clear, it's going to cost $1,500 and it's going to be a Verizon exclusive. But if it picks up steam, you have to know Samsung, they could ship this one over here at half the cost to every carrier on planet Earth, as you would if you were Samsung. Mm -hmm. And so in a way, they can kind of benefit benefit from this transition, this mindset transition that, oh, a foldable phone can be a clamshell. It can be ultra portable in the pocket. It can do these things. And then you go look at your carrier. You're like, I can't pick up the Razor. They got the advertising campaign. They got the whole thing going on. You say, I can't pick it up. Mm. Not with them. Mm -hmm. or I don't have the 1500. And then Samsung says, hey, we're over here. Yeah, we got a clamshell. We're over here. You know, you know we've been chilling, doing what we would do. As Samsung. What would you call it? Putting out a thousand products because we're Samsung. Yeah. And we can. Uh, what would you call it? Well, they've used the E branding in the Galaxy S series. Mm -hmm. They throw the E on the end of it. So the S10E, likely there's going to be an S11E. Maybe you could do a Galaxy Fold E. Galaxy Fold E. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think they'll do that. But that's the only evidence we have so far of how they treat a budget line within the S series. I don't think you can go and call it an A series like or or or, or pull from one of the other right. series that they have. Maybe Galaxy A fold. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's rough. Maybe they call it something else completely. Galaxy Fold Portable. Galaxy Fold Clam. Clam shell. Can you imagine? Willie Do. That's a classic yeah. Willie Do moment right there. Uh, anyway, it's exciting. Shout out to Ice Universe for getting these images out there. This is the best look we've had so far. I can't say I'm surprised. It's sort of what we expected, certainly on the inside. The surprise is likely on the outside, where it feels like there's not very much happening. From the outside of the device, it almost looks like a flip phone from 1999. Oh, yeah. Which, I mean, remember yourself in 1999. Will you oh. do in, what would your outfit look like in 1999? Don't lie to me. Uh, What's your outfit look like in 1999? Definitely ripped jeans. Really? Yeah. Chucks. Wow. Willie do. Unbelievable. 